Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for December 2nd. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, December 2nd, 1763, members of the Jewish community of Newport, Rhode Island, participated in the dedication of the Toro Synagogue, the first synagogue in what would become the United States. Designed in the Georgian style by English architect Peter Harrison, the synagogue was named for Isaac Toro, its first officiating rabbi. Also, on this day in 1906, Peter Carl Goldbach was born. While working for the Columbia Broadcasting System, CBS, he developed the first commercial color television system in 1936, which used a rotating three-color disc. He also pioneered in video cassette recording and developed a scanning system used by the Lunar Orbiter spacecraft in 1966 to transmit photographs to Earth from the moon. And on this day in 1980, Denali National Monument and Mount McKinley National Park were joined to become Denali National Park and Preserve in Alaska. Mount McKinley is the highest point in North America. It's 20,320 feet tall, or 6,194 meters. The new park and preserve has glaciers and lots of wildlife, including moose and mountain sheep and grizzly bears and wolves. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word shampoo. We all know that shampoo is a kind of soap that we use to wash our hair, right? Well, the word shampoo comes from India. In the 1800s, the Indians used the word champu to describe massaging one's scalp. In the 1900s, when liquid soap was invented and mixed with sweet perfumes for washing hair, the word champu was borrowed and turned into shampoo. Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the deepest any human has ever traveled in the history of the planet? Well, in January 1960, two Swiss explorers took a bathyscaph submarine down to 35,797 feet, or 10,911 meters, below the surface of the ocean. They were exploring the Challenger Deep of the Mariana Trench, which scientists believe to be the deepest place on Earth. I bet it was dark down there. Health tips. <laughs> your abdomen is the area of your body right below your chest. It contains your liver, your stomach, your intestines, and other organs. Now, unlike the organs inside your chest, like your heart and lungs, the organs inside your abdomen are not protected by bones. They're protected by muscles. Because your abdomen is not protected by bones, it's important to keep your abdominal muscles strong by daily exercises such as leg lifts and crunches. I Did you know that worms are great at breaking down food and grass clippings? Some people have bins of worms where they put their leftover food and the leaves and grass from their backyards. The worms eat the food, grass and leaves and make rich dirt out of them. Now making a worm bin is easy. All you have to do is ask your parents or your teacher to help you build a big wooden box that is about eight inches or 20 centimeters deep. Put leaves or shredded paper in the bottom of your box. The next step is to go to the garden store and buy red worms. Add one pound, about 450 grams of red worms into your box along with a couple of handfuls of dirt. Then add about a half a pound or 225 grams of food scraps, grass clippings or leaves. You have to keep adding food each day and eventually the worms will create soil that you can put in your garden. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>